Hello and welcome to the, um, the AssetBank Sitecore Connector demonstration. We're going to go through some of the functionality of the um, AssetBank Sitecore Connector. We're going to look at uh, the touch points within the system and how it works and some of the configuration and settings that you can set up. Uh, so here we are in Sitecore in a, um, a standard Sitecore 8.11 system. Um, and we're going to uh, have a little look in the media library. We've got uh, an AssetBank media folder within here and within that folder we can see a live kind of view into our asset bank system so this is a breakdown of our categories that we've got in asset bank you can see those in our asset bank system here uh, now you can also set the system up to use your access levels if you want to so rather than categories you can use access levels if that's the way you're grouping your assets and um, but for the purposes of this demonstration we're going to use categories uh, so if we drill then into images and we have a look at our places you see we've got a number of images in here like the beach so let's have a look at that um, within each um, media item these kind of appear as standard cycle media items with a few extra fields on so we've got um, public metadata and we've got private metadata and you can choose which fields to um, to map from one to the other so we can say I want the added by to be in the public metadata um, we can also map um, these fields to fields on the item itself so for example here we've got the alt tag field is um, mapped to a field within the asset bank system um, and the the interesting thing for the way the connector is working is this is a um, this is a live kind of link to the asset bank system. We're using data providers um, to make it look as though these are uh, bona fide cycler items. Um, but actually, apart from cache data, this is being pulled from the asset bank system via the asset bank API. And uh, once the item is published, it gets pushed as a standard cycler item to the uh, the web database. So you get that disconnect um, between the uh, the live published site and your dam system so you don't add extra load onto your dam system if uh, if that's a worry so what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the, um, the the home node we're going to place this item just using the standard site core kind of functionality so we've got a rich text item here we're going to find our beach we're going to insert it so it's a little bit big so we're going to change the size of our image so let's make that 500 pixels for the sake of this demo there we are we'll accept that save it lovely stuff so then we are going to have a little look at the settings so you can see how things are built up so if we go into system and modules asset bank and connector settings uh, we have a number of settings in here. We have the uh, the list of public fields, um, so that determines which go on, which fields on the asset go into your public mapped metadata and which ones go into your private. And then we have a list of mapped fields, so we see some of these are already filled out. So um, by default we have um, these first five, um, and then title and display name is one I've added. Um, for the sake of this demo, we've got some um, some images with uh, kind of hash names which don't make much sense, so we're letting the user see that the uh, the display name is equal to the title to make it a little bit easier to look at. Um, we've also got a concept called field converters and that's so that we can say when I map um, a, a date field to this item field then I want to use the date converter to, to do that mapping. Um, okay. Uh, so what we're going to do now is um, we are going to delete an item um, from Asset Bank. We're going to clear the cache and then we're going to see how the system behaves. So uh, we'll, we'll use that beach. We'll go into our images and our places. Let's delete that asset. Okay, so that asset should no longer be in our category. There you go, see it's gone. Um, so it'll appear within our folder for the time being because we've got some information cached, but if we then uh, clear our cache, there we go, and it's gone. So um, if we then go into our control panel, 
may take a little while to load because I've not uh, pre cached it. And we run the uh, broken links report. Try that again. Here we go, broken links. There we go. So if you run the report and scan the um, items, we find we've got on our home node um, in the rich text field, we've got a uh, an item that's missing, um, and that is useful for content editors to work out where um, assets may have been deleted or um, been moved from categories. And then if we then go back to our home nodes, we should see um, a little warning there to say this item no longer has an image. You can see the image there because Sitecore caches image items within its um, um, sort of temporary media caching folder uh, so that you can actually still see the image until, uh, until you delete it but um, if you were to publish this completely into the uh, the web system it would clear that cache and then um, that item would no longer exist so um, that is a good place to, uh, to put your workflow um, rules to make sure that a user couldn't publish an item where the, uh, the image is not appearing and, and that's it. It's uh, it's a nice, simple, easy to use system, and uh, it really simply puts the uh, the assets from Asset Bank within the cycle system. Thanks.